we Muslims in the modern age are always raised to think of, you know, it's all in the good in, in the good old days. But the fact that you are born in this moment and you rise to the challenge of believing in the Prophet and even more than that, in, in and this is something else inshallah I'll talk about some other time. Falling in love with the Prophet and you've never met the Prophet puts you in a status that is truly special with Allah. You know, I don't want to get into the, the whole thing as whether you're better than the companions or what. Because that's, but, but the point is, is that as a Muslim, to constantly look backwards for to the gold, good old days, the golden age, People who constantly look backwards will always fall on their face. You, as a Muslim, you have to be forward-looking. You, as a Muslim, must learn from the past, become empowered by the past, so that the past becomes like a wind that pushes you forward. But your gaze must always be before you, empowered by the morality of the Quran teaches you to confront the fact the challenges that are before you at your moment and into the future if you are constantly backwards looking and constantly telling stories about the past every time someone tells you teach me something and all you can do is tell them a story about something that happened 1400 years ago you will fall on your face and that's why we as Muslims keep falling on our face. Because it's a cop out. Repeating history and as if it's an answer to everything is intellectually cowardly. Because it, 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 it lets you off the hook when it comes to actually having to take account of the same difficulties and challenges as we will see that Surat al-Baqarah teaches you how to take account of in its historical moment. So if you learn the tools that Surat al-Baqarah endows you with, you will be able to be forward-looking. Surat al-Baqarah, again, as we will see inshallah, gives you tools. Not just laws, but tools, mechanisms for rising to the occasion of the moral challenges that would confront you as bearers of God's trust. Kuntum, as Surah Al-Baqarah says, don't forget that Surah Al-Baqarah is the Surah that tells us Kuntum khayra ummat nas, that you were the best nation given to people. Why? Because you bear witness. And the Prophet will bear witness upon you, but you bear witness upon people. How can you bear witness upon a people if you're constantly looking in the, into the past? Allah didn't ask us to bear witness upon whether the, the, the companions were this or that, or whether these people who lived 1400 years, Allah asked us to be bearers of the trust in the moment we live in.